Hey guys, Killer GB back here to talk to you a little bit about um, this new crazy game that's out, Pokemon Go. And uh, I want to let you know what it's like to uh, live and work. Um, I live very close to a Pokestop. It's only about a hundred yards down the ro down the road from me, so I can walk to it in less than five minutes. I mean, it's like, literally, right at the end of my driveway. And I actually work at a pokey stop, <laughs> which is absolutely insane. I mean, I got people throwing off um, the, um, the lures all the time at my pokey stop. So I'm able to collect Pokemon all day long while I'm sitting there at work. Now, I, li I work in a place called Boring, Oregon. It's the town in my, in my state, Boring. And I'll tell you, Pokemon in Boring is not very boring. It's pretty exciting. There's actually three Pokestops within... I mean, there, there's, I haven't found it quite yet because I've been I, I'm at work and I gotta work, so I can't I can't necessarily farm all day long. Um, I can, but I can't uh, when I get busy and, and I have to cook. I have to I have to stop playing Pokemon and, and and cook food for my customers. But at the times where I'm slow and dead and I got everything caught up, I hammer that thing. My bag has been full for days. I've got 150 plus Pokeballs. I'm actually, I think, close to 50 items over what my bag can actually hold. So when I go to other Pokestops, it tells me my bag's full. So, and, and somebody says, well, get rid of some things. And I'm like, no, no, why get rid of things? I mean, I got 150 Pokeballs, like 86 potions, 20 super potions, like 60 or 70 revives, um, two pokey lures, two incense, two lucky eggs. <laughs> so it, it's like, it's like insane how many items I have. And then people throw off the pokey lures in my work all the time. So there's always Pokemon go coming into my place. So I'm able to catch them on a regular basis. I wish I could show you guys how my Poke game looks, but I'm actually recording on my phone right now, and I don't know how to do all that technical stuff quite yet. I mean, in time I'll learn. But the thing I want to find, I want to emphasize to you guys, there's a way to kind of cheat with it. You don't have to uh, necessarily walk everywhere. I mean, I haven't really walked anywhere with the game already, and I'm level 10. <clears throat> and um, I've got quite a few Pokemon. Um, I think I've seen like 60 or 70, and I've caught all the, all, pretty much all of them I've seen, I've caught. And I'm pretty good at throwing the ball. I can usually get them on the first try. Once in a while, I'll get a tough one where it gives me a hard time. And I've only had like two run away that I couldn't catch. So, and they were actually pretty common ones. I think uh, one was a, was a, a Pidgey and um, there was another one. I think it was an, an Oddish, I think, what they ran away from me. But those are both pretty common ones and I got quite a few of them already. And I'll teach you, I'll tell you guys how to kind of cheat. There's a way you can actually kind of get away with hatching your eggs. If you're if you're an older person, which you should be watching this, this YouTube channel because I do a lot of stuff on marijuana, but it's legal now, so I mean, you kids can watch stuff on alcohol and how to make drinks, so I guess it don't really matter much. But the trick I use to be able to walk around is I, I don't drive. I don't drive and play the game at the same time. I don't do that. I will leave it on while I'm driving so I can hear it. 
But when I pay attention, I just glance at it every once in a while and try to pay attention to where the pokey stops are at. And then when I know where they're at, I'll slow down and I'll stop pulse alongside the road and use the pokey stop. And even if my bag's full, I still use the pokey stop because it's 50 experience every time you do. Hey, every bit of experience helps. And I want to let you guys know, in this town of boring Oregon that I'm in, it's, it's pretty exciting, not boring, for Pokemon. I have three Poke Stops within almost standing distance of each other. I mean, the boring sign and the timber pub and grub where I work are if you uh, use the crosswalk intersection at the intersection right there, you can actually get both of them. At the same time, you can stand right in and be in sight of both of them and be able to tag them back and forth. Then there's another one if you walk another oh, 20 feet off to the, the other side, there's a trailhead down there, so there's a third one. So there's three of them in a, in a triangular way right there that you can just hammer all day long. And then there's four, I'm counting, I literally count them, four um, gyms in Boring itself which is a little two-stop white town. I mean, people say all oh, the rural places don't have anything. Well, maybe Boring is just a, I don't know, a, a significantly uh, landmarked place. So we've got all kinds of them. I mean, there's literally four gyms inside Boring, the city of Boring, right within eyesight of each other. You can stand right there at the Timber Pub and Grub, where I work, and scroll around the, the whole screen and see all four of these gyms and they've been battling like crazy going from red to blue to yellow so i don't know i think it's kind of interesting i think it's cool um so far i've liked the game uh there's a few glitches in it but every game that launches new usually has glitches that's just the way it works so anyways guys um Oh, my chip. Yeah, that's right. If you're if you're a person that's uh, uh, as an adult over 18 years old and you drive and you happen to have a day off, go out at night. Go out at night in a city or a town, a large city or fairly large town, and, and drive around. And if you want your walking to hatch your eggs, eggs and whatnot, use parking lots large shopping mall parking lots type of thing you can drive slowly through them nobody's gonna really bother you pay attention so you don't run into any light poles or or, or sidewalks or anything like that but you can drive slowly through them you can find pokemon in them and you can sit there and you can basically walk without walking in the game so that's my one trick for you guys hit every poke stop you can um and uh keep playing and oh another thing do not whatever you do if you're low level don't use your stardust and and don't don't level up low level pokemon try not to do that try to uh wait until you get a very large one because i was watching some videos here on youtube where people have two and three and four thousand uh combat power pokemon and yeah they've leveled them up and, and used stardust and stuff for them but the way you get them is you don't start low and build it up you wait until you find a high level uh combat power pokemon in the wild and then you you evolve it and you upgrade it if you upgrade from a low one like in the old games uh you're gonna not do well it's not going to be, you're not going to be happy. So, anyways, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, I'm going to make some more Pokemon videos eventually. Um, hopefully soon. Uh, when I learn some new stuff and, and find some tricks, maybe on battling or using the gyms. Or, oh, that's something about the gyms. If you own a gym, if, you, if, you're, if you're part of a team on a gym, uh, you get uh, Pokecoins for free. Uh, one of my co-workers is playing it, and she has a, uh, one of her Pokemon is in a gym, and she gets free Pokecoins. So, if you, if you get into a gym, 
and you happen to control it, you can start getting Poke coins for free. So you don't have to put any money into the game. You can get Poke lures and Lucky Eggs and all that kind of stuff for free, basically. So yeah, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, guys. And um, have a wonderful day. And keep playing Pokemon. Talk to you guys later.